All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakodash, that will answer to the apostles of great meals, so that do it well. And say, Taste is a blessed to you, I can his word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today, we, we want to get into this quick lesson. We're going to title it Be Joyful When Serving Yahweh. All right? So, hey, man, hey, when you're serving Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, man, hey, be, be, have a joyful heart, man. All right, because, hey, we have a kingdom to, we have a kingdom to look forward to, man. All right, this is not, hey, and then. Hey, we're, we're we're getting closer and closer to the kingdom, man. All right, what 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 do we need to to be uh sorrowful for, man? All right, what do we need to be sad for, man? Hey, this is time to be joyful, man. All right, our Lord is about to return, man. We're hey, hey, this is what we've been looking forward to, man. All right, all our lives, man, we've been looking forward to look, looking forward to this. Even if we haven't, even if we weren't in the truth, man. All right, from the beginning, man. Hey, this, this truth is always gonna. This truth is always in us, man. All right, the Lord already had us to or, or ordain us to be a prophet, man. All right, this is what we've been looking forward to forever, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so, hey, man, hey, it's time to be joyful, man, you know? So, hey, we need for a drum jump to it. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice evermore. All right, man? Hey, we are to rejoice evermore, man, because we have this truth, man. All right, we have, we have a, a, a knowledge and understanding of who we are, man. All right, we have knowledge and understanding of salvation, man. All right, knowing how to be saved, man. We have the name of the Lord, man. All right, we have our true power on our side, man. All right, hey, why, why, why do we need to fear? All right, why do we need to be uh, sorrowful, man? All right, hey, the Lord didn't give us the, give us those spirits, man. You know, hey, the Lord told us to only be courageous, man. All right? So, hey, let me get... It's Matthews. Matthews 5 and uh, verse 10. It says, Bless our day, which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right, man? Because, hey, wait, hey, we're going to get persecuted, man. All right, we are hated inside this world, man. All right, but hey, man, we're still going to be joyful, man. All right, because we have the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Al to look forward to, man. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revel you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. All right, hey, man, the Lord told us to rejoice when these things happen, man. All right, to be happy, man. Be exceedingly glad, man. All right, because you know that Yahweh Shem Al is on your side, man. All right, you know that you're doing the right thing, man, uh, and, uh, uh, to get salvation, man. All right, because when me and, hey, let me grab this. Because when me and love you in this world, man, hey, you're not doing the right thing, man. That's right. This is, uh, like, hey, man, hey, hey, do, do you believe that uh, Kobe Kobe Bryant was doing the right thing in this world, man? All right, hey, man, all these people, hey, hey, the whole world stopped when that man died, man. All right, hey, the world ain't going to stop when the prophet died, man. All right, they're going to rejoice when we die, man, you know? But, hey, hey, man, we're joyful, hey, we're joyful in that, man. All right, because the Lord said that, uh, um... Uh, precious, pre precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His saints, man. Yeah. All right, so hey, man, hey, that, that's a precious thing in the eyes of about Shemal Shah, man, because He know that we kept our faith unto death, man. Like it tells us out of Revelation, the second chapter, in the tenth verse, man. All right, hey, we we're gonna keep our our our, uh, our faith unto death in Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Yahweh Desire. So this is Matthew. This is Luke chapter six and uh. Yeah, 26. It says, Woe unto you when, when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. All right, man? So, hey, when men are speaking well of you, man, all right, hey, hey that's that's a, a a very bad thing, man. All right? Because you're looked at as being a part of this world, man. Are right? you being looked at as being loved uh, 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 um, um, by these people in this world, man? These people are, are supposed to hate you, man, because you're supposed to be against this world, man. That's right. You know? So... Let me go back to this. Matthew chapter 5. And, uh, what was that? Yeah, verse 12. It says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, uh, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets uh, which were before you. All right, so, hey, man, hey, if you're, if you're on the right path, man, all right, rebuking, man, all right, because our people don't like to be rebuked, man. Our people don't like to be told when they're uh, going off, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and they, I prove that with this. Cause hey, hey man, when you when you tell when you tell a nigga to get right, man, hey, he wants to put you to death, man. This is John chapter three and verse nineteen. It says, and this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hated the light, neither coming to the light, uh, lest his deeds should be reproved. So hey man, these people will never come to the light. They will never co come to the understanding of this of this uh, joy that we have in Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. Cause they cause they uh, rejoice in this world, man. All right, they rejoice in in in, in uh, uh, being able to get a stimulus check, man. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> and a, and a kingdom that's fallen, man. 
All right, a, 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 a currency that's falling, man. They rejoicing at that, man. All right, but hey, we're rejoicing that this kingdom is falling, man. That's right. You know, kind. But um, let me get this while you and John. This John seven and seven. It says, "The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the words thereof are evil." That's so right. right, man. This is a present evil world. It's Galatians, the first chapter, speaks about man that we need to be saved from. If you are on, uh, uh, if you, if the world loves you, that means you are only wickedness, man. You are all evil, man. This place is ass backwards, man. Yeah. The Lord said He's gonna uh, um overturn it, man. So hey, the Lord, if the Lord was hated, the Lord was persecuted, man. And then you should be get hated and persecuted if you are followers of Hamashiach, man. Yeah, because the scripture said that the servant is not greater than his master. Yep, yep, the servant is not greater than his master, man. If Yahweh Shah was going through stuff, we're going to be going through stuff, man. Because we are after the Lord's heart. We're trying to get back in the good grace of the Lord. So we're going to go through stuff, man. So right. be it. Who cares, man? This all this this ain't real life anyways, man. Yeah, that's right. This, this ain't the end all, be all. We're not going to be in the flesh forever. Uh, this is Sirach 25 and 7 says there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy and a tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies That's right. So right we live to see the fall of our enemy man hey 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 this is a, a rejoicing period man we are actually seeing Esau Ian being systematically destroyed by our Lord man so we, we're seeing this man with our eyes man the Lord has gave us eyes to see and ears to hear man Hey, this is a beautiful thing. We jump to verse 8. It says, Well is him that dwelleth with uh it's like it. jump into verse 9. It says, Well is him that found that have found prudence, and he that speaketh in the ears of them that will hear. So right, well mm -hmm. is him that found prudence. It says verse 10, Oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom. Yeah. Yet is there none above him that feared the Lord. So hey, you gotta be this is great. This is well. Hey, it says, hey, this is a will thing to find wisdom. And hey, coming with wisdom is sorrow. Coming with wisdom is uh, 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 persecution. But this is beautiful. Because the Lord is on your side. The Lord is trying you. The Lord is chastening you, man. Right. And hey, knowing that you, if you're dirt, if you're in dirt, you're going to be a son of the Lord, man. man. That's spirit, bro. That's spirit. You saying that because I was going to grab that. Man. I'm grab this first. This is Rock chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart, set thy heart aright, con, uh, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Yep, man, make not haste in time of trouble, man. You can't just hey when when the hey the, the Lord and Job Job said the Lord gave us our good things. You think He's not gonna give us evil? Well, right. Paraphrasing. So hey, you gotta hey you gotta be ready to get tried, man. The Lord in hey, in Zechariah's thirteen chapter say He's gonna bring us through the fire. We're gonna be tried man. as gold is tried. That's right, bro. And, sil and refining silver is tried, man. So, hey, we're going to be going through the spiritual work. I mean, the spiritual fight, man. Because we didn't want the, the physical fight, man. It, it, either you want the physical fight where you get destroyed, weeping and gnashing the teeth, or you want to go through persecution with bitch-ass niggas who can't do shit to you unless the Lord allows it, man. That's right, bro. Con. So, verse 3 says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because, hey, man, this is all for a betterment, man. That's right. Like you tell you inside of uh, 2 Maccabees, the sixth chapter, man. That's right. All right. This is not for a destruction of our nation, man. All right. But just a chastisement, man. Mm -hmm. And a chastisement is only for what? Moral improvement, man. Mm -hmm. All right. To morally improve you, man. All right. Because, hey, two thirds of our people are not getting chastised, man. Nope. All right. We're the ones that's getting chastised by Yahweh by Shemel Shah because we are his, man. All right, the Lord doesn't want us to be doing uh, wickedness, man. All right, He wants us to uh, to repent and be righteous, man. All right, and if you are and if you are the Lord's man, you want to run away and think you're gonna get away, you're gonna get fucked up, man. That's right. And, hey, that's the last thing that you want, man. So hey, hey, just suck it up, man. Fight your flesh and come back to Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. That's you right. know. <laughs> so it says, verse four: uh, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So, hey, man, be cheerful when your Habashim Shemal Shah is putting you through trials and tribulations, man. All right, because that shows that he's dealing with you. That shows that he loves you, man. All right, and if you get through that, if you endure that chastisement, that shows that you are a son of him, man. You know? So it says, for gold is tried in the furnace and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All That's right? Work. So, hey, man, hey, the men of your Habashim Shemal Shah, the elect, all right? All, hey, all of the elect, man, hey, we're all going to go through things, man. All right, because the Lord is, is trying us. The Lord is uh, refining us, man. Okay. Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. 
It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but a third shall be left therein. All right? So, hey, man, two-thirds of our people, man, they're going to be cut off and die, man. All right? They're not going to uh, get that refining, man. Mm -hmm. All right? They're not going to get that, that polish and that shiny glow, man. All right? In the kingdom. All right? They're going to be normal Israelites, man. All right? But the elect, man. They're, since, since they went through that, that shrouds and tribulations, man, like gold all right, and silver, man, therefore, they're going to get that sham, man, all right? But two-thirds of our people, man, they want to serve their flesh. They want to serve uh, Esau, Edom, their father, man. All right, therefore, they're going to die with them, man. That's right. So it says in verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. So, That's hey, man, right. we're going to be tried, man. All right, we're going to go through things, man. But, hey, take that joyfully, man. Take that cheerfully, man. Be cheerful, man, when you're serving your Habashim man. Yeah. All right? Because at the end of the day, you're going to get salvation, man. Okay? So it says, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I shall, I shall, um, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. All right? So, hey, man, we're serving your Habashim al man. Hey, just be cheerful, man. All right? Because you're going to go through things. All right? You're going to uh, go through tribulations, man. But at the end of the day, man, it's working to uh, uh, um, uh, righteousness, man. It's working to 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 better you, man. Yep. You know? In Romans 5, say glory in tribulation, man. Yeah, that's right. You got a glory in this tribulation. You can't just be moping around and do that, man. You got to be pushing the word of the Lord, man. Hey, the Lord said you was going to go through this, man. Yeah. That's the, the, the Lord was already telling you we didn't, we didn't come in this thing, and then we learned that we are going to go through stuff. No. You you know what it was when you signed it, man. Yep. Simple as that. Yep, that's right, bro. Hey, that's why I said prepare thy soul for temptation. Yep, yep. You know? You got to hey, gird up and go up thy loins like a man. You got to be ready to, to, to fight this war, man. Yep, that's right. So this is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. It says, and ye, uh, yep, and it says, and ye have uh, forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of Yahweh, nor faint. Uh, when thou when thou art rebuked of him, Amen. It's good to say rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Yeah. All right. So, Amen. We're being rebuked by how about Shmuel Shad, man? Hey, Amen. Hey, that brings you closer and closer to the Lord, man. All right, because that shows that he's dealing with you. All right, and then you're gonna eventually build that relationship, man, because you're gonna see things that he has brought you through, man. All right, see uh uh uh, uh situations where he um um uh, came through, man, delivered you out of it, man. All right, hey, that's gonna make you love the Lord more, man. That's gonna make you believe in him more, man. Hey, it's it's all it's all to ultimately just build your faith, man. All right, that's what hey, that's what these chastisements are for, for more improvement, man. That's right. So it says, um, uh, for 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 whom Yahweh love it, he chasten it and scourge it every son whom he receive it. Uh, if if ye endure chastening, um, if ye endure chastening, Yahweh deal it with you as with sons. For what son is is he whom the father chasteneth not? All right, so, hey, man, hey, hey your, your father is, is, is not just going to let you do anything, man. All right, he's going to whoop your ass, man. If your father see you putting on lipstick, man, all right, putting flowers and fucking dre and putting the dress on, you're going to get your ass beat, man, if that's your father, if he truly loves you, man, all right, because he's going to show you the right way. He's going to show you that that's wrong, man, and that's the same way we how about Shemal Shah, man. He's chastising us so that we can uh, uh, um, get righteous, man. All right, so that we can get right, move closer and to closer to perfection, man, and that's why you have to love that chastisement, man. You know, don't don't despise it, man. Okay, so it says, um, verse eight. But if but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. All right, man. So it says, furthermore, we have uh, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? All right, so, hey, man, hey, hey, you better be in subjection to your how about Shemal Shah, man. All right, because that's, that's where that life is going to come, man. All right, having that fear in the Lord, man. All right, knowing that he can jack you up in any situation, man. All right, that's why I tell you this out of Matthew, Matthew's 20, I'll say, it's like in Matthew's 10th chapter and the 28th verse, man. All right, hey, hey, fear, fear him who, could, who can destroy both body and soul in hell, man. That's right. You know? So it says in verse 10, uh, for, for a day... For they verily, for a few days, chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. All right, man? So, hey, man, the Lord is doing this for our profit, man. All right, for moral improvement, to profit you, man. All right, to make sure that, that you're righteous on the, on the right path, man. All right, because once the Lord sees, sees, sees his elect go left, man, all right, he's going he's gonna, to uh, get the 
putting that shots tasman on you, man, get to whooping your ass, man. Yep. It's the same way with a um with a uh what's that? Sheep dog. You know, when that when it, when that dog is, is lean lean those sheeps to go into a certain direction, man, that one sheep starts to lead off and that dog starts to bark at him. All right, get on his ass, man. And that's the same way with the Lord, man. The Lord is not gonna let any of his sheep go go uh, straight go astray, man. Yep. All right, hey, I think I believe that the Lord did uh said a parable like that inside the gospel, man. He said that uh um um if 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 one man, I gotta try to find it. You know, I'm gonna try to find it, but hey man, the Lord said, hey, if, if one if one sheep go go astray, man, hey, is he is he's not gonna uh go and get that one sheep, man? You know, roughly paraphrasing. So hey, it says in uh let me see. Uh, uh, I got it. Oh, you got it? All right, yeah. Con, yeah, we go back to this. Uh, uh, Matthew 18 and 12. Con. It's Matthew 18 and 12. It says, it says, how, yeah, 12. It says, how think ye if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them gone astray, doth he not let the ninety, ninety and nine and go up into the mountains and seek of that which is gone astray. Right. So, hey, man, the Lord is not gonna let is not gonna let you go astray, man. All right. He's gonna He's gonna go and get you. He's gonna bring your ass right back, man. All right. Whatever you Whatever you were doing in the world, man. All right. If you went back into the world and maybe you had a smoking demon on you, man. All right. The Lord is gonna continuously put fucking a uh, uh, hell upon you, man, because you because you're gonna because you're supposed to be His, man. All right. The same way He did with Jonah, man. All right. When Jonah tried to go astray, man. All right, hey, the Lord made a, a big, a giant fish come up and swallow him up, man. All right, and that's the same way the Lord is going to do to uh, uh, any one of his prophets and any one of his elect that tries to go astray, man. Yep. You know, verse 13. And if so be, it's like, and if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Calm, man, because your hobbit smell shot and he's his full 100, man. All right, it's not, uh, 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 um, um, uh, a hundred and you know, hey man, that's a hundred, yeah. You know, yeah, you know, you know, a forty-three, no. Yeah, man, it's a hundred and forty-four thousand, man. All right, it's not a hundred and forty-three thousand and nine hundred and ninety-nine. No, it's a hundred and forty-four thousand, man. Point blank, period. You know, the Lord is gonna, hey, the Lord wants all of His uh, uh elect, man. Verse fourteen says, even so. It's like even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Right, calm, man. So, hey, the Lord is not gonna let any any one of us perish, man. Mm -hmm. If you're a party elect, man, you're gonna get on that chariot, man. You're gonna get salvation, man. That's you know? right. So, let me get this Hebrews right to this. Hebrews chapter twelve, and uh, let me see. Uh, he was 12 and 11. It says, uh, I believe, yep, he was 12 and 11. It says, Now no chastening for the present seeming to be joyous, mm -hmm. but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them uh, which are which are exercised thereby. All right, so amen. This is only going to make you more righteous, man. It's only going to make you better, man. Yep. All right, so amen. Accept it. You know, don't fight it, all right? Don't despise it, man, but accept it, man. Be joyful when you're serving your heart by Shemal Shah, man, because, hey, you're going to get the kingdom, man, all right? Hey, all these motherfuckers out here, man, they're going to get deaf, man. <laughs> you know, these people are going to, hey, these people are soon to perish, man, all right? But, hey, th hey this 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 uh, wisdom is going to bring you through crooked ways, man. All right, it's going to try you, man. All right, that's why the Lord the Lord has to try you, man, because the Lord's not going to get this word to anybody, man. You know, you have to be tried. Hey, hey, I got to grab that, man. Malicious, uh... Not a Sirach 4, you know, oh, Crooked so Ways. Yeah, yeah. Ah. This Sirach chapter 4 and 17 says, For at the first she will walk uh, with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. All right, hey, man, that's why when you first come into the truth, man, all right, you start to go through a lot of shit, man. Your family members hate you, all right? Your uh, 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 um, uh, your best friends will hate you, man. All right, your woman will hate you. All right, your kids will hate you, man. All right, because the Lord is trying you, man. All right, hey, 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 these, hey, these people not with you, man. All right, these people not not with you in the world, man. All right, but I am, man. This wisdom, hey, this wisdom is with you, man. All right, so hey, hey, you, are you gonna stay with this wisdom? All right, well, are you gonna uh, go go with your family in the world, man? Because they so called loved you, man. You know, so hey, man, this truth is gonna try you, man. So it says, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. All right, because hey, man, this truth has to, hey, the Lord has to uh, gain, get that trust from you, man. 
All right, hey, hey, the Lord's not going to lay his hand suddenly on any man, man. That's right. So it says, then will she return uh, the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. All right, so, hey, man, if you leave this truth, man, go back into the world, man, it's going to be, hey, it's going to be. Uh, your own ruin, man. You're gonna go back into. You're gonna go right back into that path of destruction, man. All right, there's just like that. Uh, that second Peter that we read, man. You know. So. Right. Hey, man. If you continue in this truth, man. Hey, this this is your reward, man. You got anything else? Nah. Yeah. Right, con. Con. We end on this then. Damn. Beautiful scriptures to end it on. Con. Yeah. This is uh Sirach. I'm saying uh Second Ezra chapter two and verse uh forty two. Says I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sinai a great people, uh, whom I could not number, uh, and they all praised Yahweh with songs. All right, hey man, this is a uh a, a, a direct link up with that Revelation the seventh chapter, man. And it says, In and in the midst of them there was a there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and were uh and was more exalted. Which I marveled at greatly. All right, hey man, that, that man of grace, that man of high stature is speaking of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, setting those crowns upon the heads of the elect, man. And it says, So I so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He said, Um, I'm saying it's like he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal. All right, hey man, how do you how do you uh um become immortal, man? All right, what's the first step to becoming immortal? Okay, this is uh, yep, this is wisdom of Solomon 18 13. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality. And what's that, her man? That wisdom, man. All right, and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. All right, so amen. That's how you obtain immortality, man, through this wisdom, man. All right, through uh, continuously fighting for Yahweh Shem Al Shah. Because it tells you inside of uh, second, second Corinth, it was first Corinthians 15. First Corinthians. You know, first Corinthians 15, man. Hey, hey, we're gonna put off that that this mortal clothing, man, and put on immortality, man. All right. Yep. And, uh, and it talks about wisdom Solomon in the first chapter that righteousness is immortal. Yeah. So like, hey, righteousness is immortal, man, but the way they 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 just go pass away, man. Just yeah. like this place. That's right, they're right. That's right, bro. They're gonna pass away with this world, man. Hey, just like Tis out of first John the uh, second chapter. You know, the 15th verse to the 17th verse, man. Hey, this word is going to pass away, man. But he that abided in this word, man. He that abided with Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. You're going to uh, uh, um, you're gonna live forever, man. Sure. You know? So this is, uh, go back to this. It says, well, I'm going to read all the second Ezra chapter 2 and 45. It says, he answered and said unto me, these be they that I put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms, which, hey, man, hey, that's that victory, man. That's right. So it says, then, uh, then said unto, says, then said I unto the angel, what young man is, is it that crowned them and give it them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, hey man, hey, who are the only ones that's doing that, man? The prophets, man. All right, the prophets, the elect, man. All right, we're the only ones that stand this, uh, firmly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. These people ain't doing that, man. All right, therefore these people will not get that salvation, man. All right, but hey, hey man, that that's how that's how you know who's doing the right things in this world, man. All right, when you filter things through the scriptures, man, you see you see uh, who's doing the right things, man. That's right. You know, it's not these people, man. Okay. So, hey, with that, we pray that this lesson was edifying. We would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto okay. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakradash, that will honest to the apostles of great meals, so that do it well. And citations and bless you, I can ask Christians' word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.